Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the local contractors and the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. Now the government has decided not to use local contractors on this road anymore. The government has opted to discontinue its engagement of local contractors on the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project in St. Thomas. Now, this highway goes from Harborview to Port Antonio. It's the largest road project on the way in Jamaica. But it also highlighted the gap that exists between what the local contractors in Jamaica, what local contractors in Jamaica are capable of doing re-road work, and what China Harbor Engineering Company can do. Now the government gave this contract. To China Harbor Engineering Company and said to them use 10 local subcontractors. Now the hardest part of the project Czech did and Czech is one of the biggest contractors in the world. They're amongst the top five depending on how you rank them. But the work of the 10 local contractors put the project into problems it got so bad that the people blocked the road, almost had a riot over in St. Thomas. And of the 10, some gave up the work. The government had to take back some. They came down to four. And this project just cannot finish. It just can't finish. So the government... The National Works Agency says given the challenges the local contractor given the challenges with local contractors, China Harbor Engineering Company will complete tranches five and six which run from Prospect to Arcadia and Arcadia to Amity Hall. And this new arrangement should eliminate some of the issues faced on previous sections. The pace at which we are now moving, we are really hoping to see the many aspects of this project completed before the end of the year. And so the Chinese are executing the works themselves. These packages are not being done through subcontracting as the government has taken the decision to go this route given the challenges that we have had with the other 10 packages under the tranches one and two of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project where work is actually still ongoing on a couple of other projects. And that was said by Stephen Shaw, the National Works Agency Communication Manager. So, the latest is no more local subcontractors to work on the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. And maybe now the project can actually finish. But this project is a learning experience. And a lot of Jamaicans before this project started said, why aren't we using local contractors? And then when the project started, I think everybody, especially the residents of St. Thomas and Portland were shocked at the work being done by the local contractors, a slow piece. And you notice now that Jamaica has two massive road projects coming up, the cry to use local contractors is not that loud. Only one organization I've heard say, talk about using local contractors. So let's see what happens on the SPARC program, which is a $40 billion program to use to fix 2,000 roads and the construction of the Northern 
coastal highway from Montego Bay to Ocho Rios. Two projects bigger than this one that we're looking at. And we are looking at the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. And this section that we're driving on, these are sections that were to have been completed by local contractors. All right, guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.